Well, we are out here, uh, out by uh, Roger Smith's Hotel Lab Gallery, looking at the sculpture My Sweet Lord by Cosimo Caballero. Um, it's quite the sculpture. It's 200 pounds of dark chocolate. Yes, that is That's right. spectacular. Incredible amount of chocolate. And to my understanding, Zach, like, this sculpture has caused a lot of controversy. Yes, it has. It was, it's a, it's first opening was during Holy Week, which mm. created quite a bit of controversy. People did not like the fact that this was a naked sculpture of Jesus um, and his sacrifice. One of the one of the main people who uh, were kind of leading this hate against the sculpture was Bill Donahue, the president of the Catholic League. He was he actually made the the claim that putting this picture, uh, this sculpture of Jesus, up during Holy Week is similar and equivalent to putting up a naked sculpture of MLK Jr. on MLK Day, um, states dailynews.com. And I, I think that's absolutely ridiculous. I think it is too, because when we try to compare the two, it's not as if Martin Luther King Jr. died in this fashion, right? This so why would do we even depict him in that way? That yeah. doesn't make sense. To his, uh, his argument doesn't make much sense, and it, it does make sense that Jesus would be depicted in this in this way because that's how he was. Um, that's how he was killed. He was killed naked. He was sacrificed on the cross naked. Right. Um, so if anything, the other um, pictures and paintings that we've looked at before have been kind of misrepresentation. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so Sammy, why? why do, do you th don't you think it's interesting that he made it out of chocolate? Yeah. Do you have? I mean, I wouldn't really make it out of chocolate, so do you have any understanding or why he would choose chocolate out of all things? I, I think um, some really good, really good background of why he would choose chocolate is the fact that there's so much evidence in uh, scripture of Jesus talking about eating of his flesh, um, and chocolate is a very edible substance, and not only that, it's a sweet substance, which mm. can also symbolize his sweet sacrifice, sacrifice for us. Right. How sweet his sacrifice was for us, and how sweet his love is for us. I think you're right there, and I really like how you tied those things together. Alright, so this is another day, and now we are in Pinoteca de Barrera in Milan. That is right. It is beautiful out here. It is very nice. And we are looking at Dead Christ by Andrea McTegna. And this painting was done in 1480 and was finished in the 1500s. It took a long time. It was like 20 years. I know. What was he doing during that? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. That was a long time. But, but it looks good. I mean, look it looks, at it. It looks really good. But one of my favorite pieces in this painting is a reaction that we rarely get to view in these kinds of paintings. If we were focusing our attention um, on the left-hand side, we see three distinct faces that simply by looking at them, we can tell that they are experiencing agony like never before, and they're mourning the death of their Christ. Um, and it is assumed that these three faces, one of them is Mary, Mother of Jesus, of course. We have her in there, she's wiping her um, tears. And then we have John, the saint. And this third one, we only see half, right? Yeah, she's in the back corner, she left, left corner. Mm -hmm. So we don't see her full face, but some claim it to be Mary Magdalene. And that would be because of the, the jar, right? The... Right. If we look on the right-hand side, we see uh, an ointment jar. That I really like how, how it's in there because if we if we look at, at the far edge of the marble slab where Jesus is laid, and that's typically used to prepare the body of Christ. Mm. And it's plainly located just beside the dark and empty corner of the chamber. And I think that that dark corner is kind of setting a good mood for for this painting yeah definitely and i, I really like how um how mantegna is really really focusing on the wounds and the pain of jesus i mean look his hands are pushed up so that you can right, see right. where the nails went through and you can see his face and his skin almost mm -hmm. looks like it's starting to decay exactly it's a very emotional piece that is filled with mourning sorrow and silence it's filling the viewer with empty, dark, and brooding feelings. Something that we've never seen before in other paintings. Very good.